Today I'm going to be showing you how to make garlic noodles without any of the carbs. It's made with spaghetti squash which is in season right now. It's really simple and ready. I've got a spaghetti squash that I've cut into half and I've actually cooked this in the microwave for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes depending on when the skin is tender. I'm just going to be cleaning out the seeds, throwing that away and once you peel, once you spoon this you can see uh, one, you know, the uh, spaghetti strands from the squash itself. And you get quite a bit. I've just uh, put it in a bowl with a little bit of water and I've turned it, turned this halves upside down and um, that way it's steaming as it's cooking. It took about 13 minutes today for this medium sized squash. I also have some chopped garlic, soy sauce, rice vinegar, um, sesame oil, crushed red pepper, salt and i'm using three fat stems of um, uh, green onion i've just sauteed the whites along with the garlic and crushed red pepper and uh, and this is how it's very easy it just kind of once it's cooked it comes out really well thin long strands of spaghetti and uh, it's a great source of vitamins and a uh, great time to eat the squash it's good for you as well as it's very delicious so we've made like um an asian so heat it onto the pan and once the green onions the white part is sauteed along with the garlic i've used about um four cloves of garlic it's called garlic noodle <laughs> for a reason and uh and so I've crushed it and put it all in, sauteed it with a little olive oil. And I'm just trying to, I've added the um, soy sauce as well as the rice uh, wine vinegar as well as the uh, sesame oil. Just a, t a touch of sesame oil, maybe about a quarter spoon or even less because it's a very strong oil. You don't want to overpower the garlic and I'm just sauteing it, it uh, will absorb all the moisture in the squash and come out really dry like noodles. Uh, today I'm going to be serving it with a panko crusted tilapia which I'm going to air fry and I'm going to make a sauce for it with some green beans and, um, and that's it, that's a meal. Uh, uh, grated about an inch or so of ginger and then about uh, half a teaspoon of garlic, chopped garlic and I'm going to be frying in the green beans. it on together you can smell the ginger and the garlic toasting in the oil just the few dashes of crushed red pepper You don't need to add any more salt to it because the soy has it as well as the uh, of poison sauce.
You can see the green beans are nice and quick, crunchy, but still green. It's just been sauteed this way a little. I'm going to be adding uh, some water to it along with some cornstarch to make it into a sauce consistency. And this is poured over your tilapia fish or um, the, uh, you can even put it over uh, shrimp or just uh, green beans with mushrooms if you want a vegetarian option. It goes it very well. And this is how the consistency of the sauces after the cornstarch and water is added to the beans. I added another teaspoon of uh, the hoisin sauce as it was pretty mild. And the sauce is ready. I'm just going to be putting in the cilantro and some green onion, the green part of it. And it's done. I, I pour this over the uh, tilapia, which I'm now uh, air frying uh, with some panko, and uh, and I pour it over it and serve it along. After uh, air frying the fish, the tilapia, which is panko crusted, I put the sauce that I prepared over it, and then. Here is the garlic noodles made with spaghetti squash. This is how I plate it.